So hi there, um, I'm Dr. Beckett. Uh, welcome to Bay and Awareness Week. We're going to be talking uh, a little bit about pelvic congestion syndrome today. It just so happens I've got a patient, uh, Emma, who I've just seen today. Uh, so I guess all you guys are probably saying, you know, what, what is pelvic congestion syndrome? So pelvic congestion syndrome uh, effectively refers to a constellation of symptoms uh, within the pelvis, obviously, um, in combination with uh, pelvic uh, vein reflux that you diagnose on a transvaginal and transabdominal scan. Uh, it's best thought of as sort of the same symptoms as someone with varicose veins in the legs would get, but of course you're going to get all of those symptoms with the varicose veins in the pelvis. So you're going to get aching, irritability, um, and the, those symptoms of course are going to translate within the pelvis to sort of pelvic pain, uh, discomfort, aching, irritability within the bladder, irritability with, with the bowel, uh, and potentially pain on intercourse. And having just seen Emma this morning, um, I thought we'd just briefly go through some of her symptoms and um, just to see if, if any of those correlate. So Emma? Yeah, I've uh, got quite a few of those do actually. Uh, so I do get the pain, I get quite deep within pain and when I'm standing that feels like quite dragging and heavy. And I also get pain more to the side that kind of radiates down into my legs. So standing on my feet a lot is, is hard. Um, and also I do get problems where I'm sitting upright and that causes pain as well. Um, like you said, I do get some pain on intercourse um, and irritability with the bladder when it's really bad as well. And I'm right in saying, I mean, this is really impacting your quality yeah, of life. Yeah, I mean, I can't sit down for long, I can't stand up for long, so yeah, it is. And I need to get it sorted. And of course, it. and of course, to get this diagnosed, I'm guessing like most women these days, you've gone through a really long journey yeah, to get to yeah, this point. Yes. Yes, I actually started at with a colorectal surgeon who then referred me to gynecology and now then I went to see a different interventional radiologist who referred me to specialists. Um, so that's why I'm here. And how long's that journey taken, would you say? Well, it's probably been quicker than going on the NHS because <laughs> private healthcare is much quicker, but it's been oh several months, probably about four months, three, four months. Okay. Yeah, probably about three months. And certainly from from what I've seen in, in some women that can even be extended over a period of up to 10 years yeah. uh, before someone gets the, the correct sort of help that they need really. Um, which probably brings me to the question, I guess, in, in, in how you came across us at the Wiping Clinic really. It was the interventional radiologist I saw privately but who also works in the NHS and he said he would do my large bay but he recommended you guys for a more comprehensive treatment. Um, but you guys were, even from the ultrasound, so much more thorough. Like he didn't look at all the different veins, the different angles, he didn't mm. do any of that. He only looked specifically where I was having pain. Um, it just was not anywhere near as detailed as what you guys have offered. And, and of course, when it comes to treatment, um, one, one of the treatments that we offer here, obviously, is, is pelvic vein embolization. Um, other centres may jump straight to hysterectomy. Um, which of course is going to remove the uterus, it's a yeah. huge operation. Yeah. Um, but actually if the problem is still within the veins outside the uterus, you're still going to have those symptoms. Um, and, and of course, yeah, at, the, at the minute Emma's not, not had her procedure, but we certainly went, went over that today um, and just sort of explained how, how it's done um, from a pinhole um, and essentially using x-ray guidance and we place small coils within the pelvis. Um, having had it all explained, do you, do you think you're quite clear now about oh, that is the way forward? Yeah. And did you have any other questions? Um, no, I think you covered everything in detail and I feel like I know what I'm heading into <laughs> going forward with the procedure. Yeah, I think it's the only, it's the only option. It's the only option for me, definitely. And of course, after the procedure, what we're going to do is we're going to see Emma back in clinic, ensure that her symptoms have got better, and if need be as well, repeat that transvaginal scan just to show that the reflux um, has, of course, disappeared as well. So we can correlate that technical success with the clinical success.